Is your plant acting strange? Are your leaves looking a little pale? And let me guess, you've gone over your entire checklist. So you know it's not a water problem. You know it's not a nutrient or a pH problem. So what the heck is happening? Have you looked close? Like really, really close? No, I mean like microscopic close. And you're probably thinking, no, why would I do that? Well, my friends, if your leaves are twisting, blistering, and falling off, then you might be dealing with a broad mite infestation. These pests are nearly invisible to the naked eye and they are a hassle to deal with. So what are broad mites? Broad mites are a microscopic pest. No, for real. They are like 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters. And to survive, they need new plant tissue and they'll suck the very life you gave your plant right from them. These little guys can and will find their way to your plant no matter what. Like on compromised clones, contaminated clothing, and dirty tools. You will see signs like twisted, shiny, blistering leaves, gray tips at the end of your leaves, stunted growth, shriveled buds, and bud sites failing to develop. So how do you deal with broad mites? Who would have guessed that these little creatures would be so damaging and hard to kill? Not only are they tiny, but their bodies and eggs are translucent as well. Broad mites hide inside freshly new growth, draining the nutrients from within your plant. Because of this, most soaps and oils have a hard time reaching them. And if they do, as fast as it does, they develop a resistance to anything you throw at them. So with these guys, you're going to need a little patience and plenty of consistency. So here's what you should do. Isolate the affected plants. Treating infected plants is a difficult, drawn out process. The more you prevent, the better off you'll be. Remove infected branches. And try to use a sulfur based treatment. Since they have a hard time developing a resistance to this compound. And repeat this treatment three times a day for at least three weeks and make sure you complete every step every time to ensure that these pests are gone for sure. Now remember, each plant is different. So before you do any foliage spraying, Make sure to do a spot check first, just to see how your plant is going to react before you go and cover her with something she might not react well to. And wait about an hour or so to give your plant some time to adjust so that way you can see how she reacts. And if you like videos like this, and you think I should do some more, please like and leave a comment in below. We greatly appreciate it.
stay safe, stay lit, and have a great day, my bromies.